Good morning. How are you? How are you? How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle, and I'm back here for another morning inspiration. Listen, if you are on the replay, do remember to put your comments uh, in the comment thread. Let me know um, how you're feeling, if you're getting anything from this motivation in the morning. And those of you who are logging on, Right now, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are live, live and direct right here. And we are going to have Friday's freedom. Friday's freedom, yes, it's Friday and it's a bank holiday. It doesn't make a difference though, does it, really? <laughs> it doesn't make no difference to this situation. <laughs> Oh my days, but this is what it is. Let me know how you are doing, how you are feeling. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Guys, remember to put your good mornings in the thread. Let me know who you are. Let me see your beautiful faces this morning. We've got a great day ahead of us. How do I know that? because I'm speaking it into existence. We've got a great day ahead of us. Yes, we do. We have a fabulous day and we are going to make the very most of it. Yes, we are. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Get pumped up. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. As T.D. Jakes says, you better get ready for what's to come. What's to come? What is to come is what we determine. It's absolutely what we determine. Yes, yes, yes. So this is Friday's Freedom, right? And so today I was thinking about, okay, what do we need? It's Friday, it's a bank holiday, and we've been working hard all week. Some of us, even though we're at home, some of us are working at home, some of us are, are furloughed, and some of us are just trying to make it work. Some of us are coaches, we're consultants, we're teachers, we're, we're in that service-based space and we want to uh, look at how things are going for us and we want to, and we're looking at how we are going to move forward. Things are changing by the minute, by the moment, right? Everything changes. So here what? I've got some steps for you. This is Freedom Friday, right? So these are some steps to take you into freedom up here, right? Right. Okay, so number one, are, you re are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Sometimes you need a pet. Look, I was at the gym. I'm not the gym. In my garden. <laughs> Walking around. I've got my workout clothes on today. Listen, okay, number one. Let go of the things you can't control. That's what you're doing today. You're gonna number one, you're gonna let go of the things that you cannot control. Right? What is that serenity prayer? You'll give me the wisdom to see things that I cannot change and things that I can. I know it's something like that. I can't remember it word for word. Number two. The biggest one. What did I say this week? I'm sure it was this week. Comparison is the thief of all joy, right? Avoid comparing yourself to others. Others may look like everything's going well and they're all the you can see them on social media. You don't know how they're living. You don't know how they're doing. You don't know. You don't know. You're assuming. Stop comparing yourself to others and stay in your own lane. Stay focused, like we were talking about in the week. Number three, keep your faith larger than your fears, guys. Come on. Are you with me? Are you with me? You know what? Around us is all fear. We are living on an ocean of fear. We are traveling in a, on a sea of fear with all these different people. But let your boat be the, fear, the, the boat of faith. The boat, let that, the whatever's driving your boat, let it have faith. The faith, the side of a mustard seed. If you ever see the size of a mustard seed, you can hardly see it. I can't see a mustard seed without my glasses. I can't. But I can see my faith. I can feel my faith. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence may not be seen. All right. Okay. So 
Don't do anything that doesn't feel right. That's number four. Don't do anything that doesn't feel right. That we are setting ourselves free. And number five, I'm only going to do five because I don't want you to get overwhelmed, right? Don't want you to get overwhelmed. Number five, do not be afraid to spend time alone. Right, let me just stop there. Let me just stop there. Don't be afraid to spend time alone. Many, many of us, many people are so scared to spend time alone. Let me encourage you this morning. The time that you spend alone is crucial because what that does, it allows you to shut down all of the noise. You can just shut it down and then you can reconnect with who you are. Many times we want to look outside of ourselves, ask people for the answers, ask people questions. Sometimes the, the answers are right there, you know. Sometimes it, all it is is sometimes you've got a question and all it is is using common sense and go on Google and find the answer. But no, you're going to ask somebody. But when you start to spend time alone, then you start to depend on your own, your own wisdom inside. So do not be afraid to spend time alone. This is the most important time that you're going to spend with yourself. Yourself is the most important person in your life. And if you don't want to spend time with you, then why should anybody else spend time with you? Do you get me? But I'm here to encourage you this morning. Your time with yourself is precious. The moments you write those things down, write everything down, write everything that you that comes to your mind, write it down. Put a date on it and put it somewhere, put it in an envelope, put it somewhere and then go back to it in, in three weeks, four weeks and see and see what knowledge you've got there and see where you can use it. It could only, you can use it after a week, but you you are incredible. You, the person that's looking at this screen right now that I'm talking to, you are absolutely incredible. And so you need to learn to trust in you, trust in what you can do. And stop looking at others, but just ground yourself and appreciate yourself. There's a word. There's a word that's not used very often. Appreciate yourself. All right. And this is not about being selfish. I'm just going to go online and see because it doesn't come up all the time. All right. So, guys, I'm just saying be encouraged this morning. Be encouraged this morning. Ooh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yes. Oh, I can see. Hi, Barbara. Good morning. Hi, Jasmine. Good morning. Yes, our words create our work. Absolutely. That's it. Thank you very much, Jasmine. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. How many of us are trying to change things that we, we don't have the capacity to change it? And the courage, the chance, okay, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Let me tell you when that wisdom will come. That wisdom will come when you spend time alone. Right? It will happen when you spend time alone. Astra says, speak it into reality. Absolutely. Death and life is in the power of this thing right here in your mouth. Whatever you speak, Whatever you think, whatever comes out, that's what you bring about. So all those things, let me just tell you this, because I do a relationship program, right? And one of the things that we need to understand, especially as women, is when we're saying what we don't want, that's what's coming to us. So let's start speaking what we do want and bring that in to reality. Listen, I set myself a task. I'm calling, I'm calling my partner into being. I'm caught, look, right here, live and direct on social media. I'm saying it to you. You can hear me. This can go back on the replay, but I'm manifesting in the person that I want, the person that in my alone time that I think about, and I think about the things that I want, not the things that I don't want. I think about the things that I want. All right. So this is where we're at. Okay. So guys, 
Hi, Beverly. Hi, Beverly. How are you? Good, 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 good. Ah, Jasmine says, preach, love it. Listen, we've got to bring it in. We've got to be, we've got to be fearless. We've got to be bold. We've, we've really got to get out of our own way now, ladies, because we ain't got the time to muck about. We don't have it anymore. Look at the world. Look what's going on. Look at where we are. So now is the time to jumpstart. Now is the time to get in position. Now is the time to get ready, get ready, get ready, as T.D. Jake says, and move forward. And like you've been saying all week, yes, you're ready to come with. You're ready to do. You're ready, you're ready, you're ready. Come on, let's move together, work together, work together. Guys, I've got something coming for you. I've got something coming for you, and I will drop it next week. But I will be here every day at 9 a.m. with morning inspiration. And like I said um, this morning, like I said, I'll give you those five again. Number one, let go of the things you cannot control. Number two, avoid comparing yourself to others. Number three, keep your faith larger than your fear. I, 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 I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Oh, I'm getting excited. Number four, do, do not do anything that doesn't feel right. Trust your instincts, guys. Your instincts will never lead you wrong. And number five, do not be afraid to spend time alone. I've got five others, but I'm not doing them this morning. I'm giving you five. Amina saying, yes, after a bad marriage, I manifested my present amazing husband. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. So, Amina, if you if you manifested your present husband, what more can you manifest this month? This is the month of miracles. This is the month of multiple manifestations. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's get it done. Um, Astrid is saying, I'm doing the same thing. Focus on what you want and it will come into be Absolutely. Absolutely. Astrid is on it, man. I'm telling you, ladies, you get me fired up in the morning. You get me ready to go and do what I need to do. And this morning, Ah, uh, well, you can see I'm in my workout. I'm ready to work it out. What are you ready to do this morning? Before we run out of time, let me just check your messages and then, yeah, that's it. That's it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I've seen it all. All right, my ladies. All right, my ladies. I just want to say thank you and gentlemen, should I say, ladies and gentlemen, let me not leave out the men, but men, you need to start getting vocal. Let me start pushing you, men. How many minutes? Let me start pushing you, men. You're hearing it. You're not You're not saying anything. You're passing by. You're getting the information. You're getting the inspiration. Now I'm going to pinch you up now. Yeah, some of you like to be pinched up now and again, you know. It's pinching up can be nice. It can be for your benefit. I'm talking to the men. Now it's time for you to get vocal. Now it's time for you to put the work in. Now it's time for you to put the sweat in and make the changes in your life. I want you to put your... your comments on the feed i am playing i'm not taking no prisoners i'm here to cause a disruption i'm here to make you feel uncomfortable i'm not here to be your friend i'm here to help you move because we got things to do listen guys i'm getting too excited i've got to go but i'll be back here tomorrow don't normally do weekends but i'll be here for something special special saturday Saturday special, whatever it is. But guys, I'm sending love to you. Have a great day. Stay safe. And remember, push forward. You you are the only person that's standing in your way. Move out your own way. Let's move forward together and get things done. Ciao for now, guys. I'm out of here. Much love. Ciao, ciao.